Hi, so technically not a guinea pig, but today is the original, <laughs> the original guinea wolf, Isla. Come here, baby. Come here. Nah, I say cocker. Uh, I'm eating your head. No, 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 no. Okay, so Isla, who is not going to sit up now, come here. Come here. That's it. Oh, that. Oh, okay. We have cuddled. We have cooked. Oh my goodness. So yeah, this is Isla, and she is my. <laughs> this is really difficult to do. She is my almost nine-year-old spaniel cross dog. She is a English Springer Spaniel crossed with a Bedlington Terrier, and say so she will be nine in January. Me and Mark got her shortly after we got married. Say hi, Isla. Isla. <laughs> I'm still eating your hair. <laughs> and um, yeah, she's been a fabulous addition to the family. She was always very gentle with the guinea pigs. She treated them like her own little puppies. She was a, a very lovely girl. But one thing that always made me very sad about, about Isla is that when we went to go and pick her up, she was only a very young puppy. She would have been about six months max. And when we went to go and pick her up, oh, you're so beautiful. When we went to go and pick her up, um, as soon as the gentleman opened the door to us, Isla ran up to us and sat straight in my lap and wouldn't move. Thank you. Ugh, thank you. Um, and I've always found that quite odd um, because now, ever since we've had her, and anybody comes to the door, she barks. Um, she won't go. She won't go near them until you know she realizes it's okay or she is encouraged to come over for, for cuddles but that that day she ran at me sat in my lap and didn't move and she was very especially when we lived on the raft camp she was very nervous of men in day glow vests i mean she'd bark and she'd bare teeth it was it was that bad and the person that we went to go and pick them up from he was a builder and he just so happened to have a day glow vest on when we went to pick up isla so I knew instantly that, you know, she had to come back with us. Isla. Isla. She's not a fan of the groomer or the vet. <laughs> she, she, bless her. She suffers with hay fever every single year. Um, like, you know, allergies. And her eyes go really, really puffy. Don't they, baby? So you have to have eye drops at this time of year, don't you, darling, eh? Come here. Come here. And you have to have eye drops, don't you? Because you get sore eyes. But she is such a sweet natured dog. She's very clever. She's very obedient. Um, she does have uh, stomach issues, which I must admit sometimes does drive you mad. Um, she is a nervous pooper when you go out for a, for one of one of those. I didn't say that word because the dogs will be like, "What we're going? Like, no, I'm busy." <laughs> um, so yeah, that can be quite difficult to deal with. But other than that, she is a very very loving very affectionate <laughs> let's go this way hang on i can see you yeah she's a very very lovely dog and hopefully she's going to be around for a very long time she's certainly not showing any signs of slowing down so that's what we like um so yeah there we go the very beautiful original guinea wolf <laughs> say hi <laughs> good girl the original guinea wolf isla <laughs> 